least 50,000 people marched through central Moscow on Saturday. They're calling for peace in Ukraine and they are against Russian interference in Crimea. What can we expect from the Russian leader? Well, that's right. Uh, Vladimir Putin said that he will only respond after the results of the referendum in Crimea have been counted and have been declared officially. And that means that we can expect a statement from the Kremlin on Monday. At the same time of this rally, there was another one going on just around a corner. Uh, and this time, demonstrators were supporting the Russian president and they were supporting uh, Crimea joining Russia. But this rally was much smaller. Vladimir Putin gave a very emotional speech. Uh, he said that uh, on Tuesday, a historic mistake was corrected and by that he was referring to 1954. Syria was not on the agenda for the G20 leaders summit but it was a subject of many talks held on the sidelines of it. No meeting has been planned between Russian President Vladimir Putin and his US counterpart. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization is gaining more respect on international level year by year. The festival is one of the most anticipated annual events in the Russian capital. The most reliable way to get around Moscow is the metro, but you can literally count the number of stations with disabled access on your fingers. And while you might be able to get inside, it's not always guaranteed that you'll be able to get out on the other end. Last year, Russian tourists have spent $33 billion. Maslin says a great way to get out, have fun, eat until you burst and do something you wouldn't otherwise do. Um, that's fun because it's going to be...